most common type of steering system which are used in our modern automotive section are two types one is linkage or conventional type known as parallelogram steering systems and second is the rack and pinion type steering systems advantage and disadvantage of rack and pinion steering linkage uh, advantages are some advantages are in steering system precise geometry low weight and low cost and one disadvantage some disadvantage are here in steering system low carrying capacity inflexibility occur when it is comes within a compact space and some advantage and disadvantage of parallel linkage type steering systems are some advantage of parallel linkage type steering systems are price geom precise geometry high load carrying capability it is designed in such a way that it can work around the obstacle such as oil pan and some other disadvantages are high weight and also high maintenance cost some steering linkage constructions the steering linkage construction some important component which are help to steer the vehicle those are follow one is steering wheel steering column and steering shaft steering gearbox pit bin arm drag link tie rod steering arm idler arm and center link steering wheel steering wheel is circular wheel mounted at the steering shaft and act as a control to steer the wheel it is made of steel ring welded together on a hub with the help of two three or four spokes after welding ring with the spokes is ebonite molded on it in certain vehicles center hub has spline cut on it while in the other case a key groove is given to secure the steering shaft firmly in it steering wheel in over century have a fixed position however in the foreign countries those wheel in some vehicle can tilt or located in position in suitable of the driver steering wheel is pull out with the help of puller steering column or steering shaft the outer part of the steering shaft which is which is our hollow type is called steering column this is one end of the pipe is fixed the steering column that is one end of the one end of the pipe is fixed on the steering box and the other end is usually held with the help of bracket under the instrument panel steering shaft the steering shaft is made out of good quality steel one end is fixed with the steering wheel with the help of spline or key and kept tight by nut the other end with the worm is secure firmly in the steering box with the help of bearing placed both on top and bottom sometimes instead of one shaft or two piece shaft are also used so 
first shaft is a steering shaft and another and second is also called intermediate shaft steering this is a pitman arm pitman arm is one of the most important steering component in a automobile as a linkage attached to the steering gear box sector shaft it is cover the angular motion of the sector shaft into the linear motion needed to steer the wheel so pitman arm transfer the gear box motion to the steering linkage pitman arm is plying to the gear box so this one is the this is the pitman arm and it is made by forge process forging process now drag link this is a part found on some vehicle with a steering box not with the rack and pinion steering the arm coming of the steering box may have two tie rod one to each front wheel and another for another person connect to front wheel to each other with one long tie rod and then need just one tie rod to steering box that tie rod is called a drag link tie rod basically it is connected to the rack with steering knuckle most of the modern vehicle use in steering system called rack and pinion steering system which incorporate tie rod to move the wheels tie rod are attached on both end of the steering rack and as the pinion roll over the slotted rack they help push and pull a front wheel as steering wheel is turned steering arm steering arm is a part of the vehicle chassis that direct the input from steering gear box to its component it applies pressure from steering gear box to the tie rod the result in the tie result in the tire turning from left to right or right to left idler arm the idler arm support the end of the center link on the passenger side of the vehicle the idler arm bolt to the vehicle frame or shaft frame generally an idler arm is attached between the opposite side of the center link from the pitman arm and the vehicle frame to hold the center link at the proper height so the this one is the idle arm it support the end of the center link on the passenger side of the vehicle the bolt of the bolt to the vehicle frame so idle arm some vehicle if you see some idle arm are connected to idler box also if one wheel if own will cause the extremely excessive steering play center link the parallel steering linkage the pitman arm is connected to a center link which will move side to side this side to side motion will cause the tie rod end or sleeves assembly and steering arm to move those turning the wheel in appropriate direction steering gear box the steering gear box contained the gears 
that transmit the driver's steering input to the steering linkage that turns the wheel and it multiplies the driver's steering change so that the front wheel move more than steering wheel so this one is the steering wheel and this is the steering gear box so there is some ratio at there which is calculated it is calculating and steered the vehicle as desired track steering damper a steering damper or steering stabilizer is a damping device designed to inhibit and undesirable uncontrolled movement or oscillation of the vehicle steering mechanism a phenomenon known as motorcycling as wabel now this is the conventional type steering system this is the maru this is the mahindra and mahindra steering system today we have we have discuss about the conventional type steering system this one is the steering wheel and this one is the steering column the steering column is a long member of cylindrical shape whose one end is attached to the steering wheel and another end is attached to the steering gear box or steering wheel are made by steel tube basically steering column are made by steel tube and there are so many type of column are used in automotive sector one is one of the um, type is rigid or integral type steering column another type is collapsible type steering column another is tilt steering column and um, another is tilt and telescopic type steering column so the rigid type steering or integral type steering column is this one is the integral type steering column collapsible type type steering column you may you also may you may also called energy absorbing steering column like centro car or any or any other expensive car like mercedes benz etc tilt steering column is tata safari or mitsubishi lancer you can say you can say and tilt tilt and telescopic steering system column you may called uh, icer icer car track also now steering column are attached to the body by the supporting hook and this one is the steering gear box and we will discuss later the type of steering box now we are, we are in we are in, we are we have also discussed the what is the function of the steering box but it, but today we have also today we only discuss the linkage 
okay now this is the steering gearbox and this is the cross shaft this is the drop arm you you will see minutely this is called dot drop arm this is the pitman arm this is the drag link this is the drag uh, this is the drag link and this is a hollow bar and drag link and this one is the idler arm and this one is if you see the this 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 uh, device this is called idler idler box and the uh, lower part of the idler box are connected to another idle arm and idle arm are connected to the ball joint and this one is the uh, drop this is the drag link and also this one is the tie rod okay this cross uh, rod are connected to the one side you see this is one side of the tie rod end and this one side of the tie rod end and this is the tie rod which is also connected to the another side of the tie rod end okay and the tie rod end and the ball joint end are connected to the knuckle see both are ball joint are connected to the knuckle so this is the basic uh, conventional type suspension system which we are show uh, this is the Maruti 800 car and this one is the Maruti 800 steering system. Basically the Maruti steering system are rocker pinion type steering system. Most of the Maruti vehicles are rocker pinion steering system. So, see, this is the, this, uh, this one is the steering wheel. Okay, so this one is the steering wheel. Most of the steering wheel, previously we see the most of the steering wheel are made by uh, hollow shaft, hollow uh, made which may made by metal. Today, uh, today most of the modern car or modern car are made by some plastic materials or made by fiber reinforcement. That means fiber, carbon fiber, etc. Okay, now the steering system, if you see, this is, this section, this is called steering shaft, which is go, go to the, steer, go to the rack, uh, rack pinion housing. Okay, so this, is, this is the steering shaft. Okay, so steering, steering wheel are mounted to the steering shaft and steering shaft are, shaft are is a so, are made by um, solid metals okay and this is the steering column the outer part of the steering shaft this called are called steering column it is basically hollow type most of the steering systems are uh, uh, collapsible types, tilt types. So, most of the modern car are now are using collapsible type steering systems. So, this one is the combination switch. This one is the combination switch. This is the lock key. Okay, and this one is the this one is the uh, lever. This is the lever. So if you see, this is the combination switch means all switch are placed together. So that's why it's called combination switch. So this is the another lever, and here uh, the um, this is the uh, headlight switch also. And this lever, if you if you see, this lever is move up and down also this direction and also this direction. So during these directions all 
signaling are oper all signals are operated like uh, trans signal trans signal lights dim and deeper and also headlight so in a in a particularly one uh, lever are operate so many signals okay so this is the combination switch and here is the steering column previously i told it now the combination c the combinations there's the uh, sorry the the steering columns are goes to the the uh, uj uj so this is the universal joint and another shaft this is called intermediate shaft so this is another shaft to and another uj so, and this one is the this one is the pinion housing so pinion shaft are connected to one side in U, one side of the uj and intermediate shaft are connected another side of the uj now you see this is the rack housing this is the one is the rack housing and this one is the steering rocker pinion the and pinion housing okay so pinions are placed inside the housing and this one is the this one is the rack and outer portion is called rack housing and this is the mounting place mounting rubber which and the mounting rubber are placed here so if you see the rack when you rotate the rack are move uh, linear directions and this one this one is the inner ball joint so this is the right side inner ball joint and this one is the left side inner ball joint so inner ball joint and another this one is the this one is the tie rod and if you see this is the right side tie rod and this one is the left side tie rod and this one is the this and this one is the outer ball joint so the the tie rod are attached to between outer and inner ball joint and if you see minutely the outer ball joint have, uh, the outer ball joint are connected to the steering knuckle so this is the total linkage of rocker pinion steering system